So Mother Nature has decided that although we've been in a heat wave all week with temperatures being above 30 degrees Celsius plus humidity bringing it up to about 40 degrees, today it is about 11 and it is cold outside. So I am bringing out my trusty crock pot here and I'm going to make just a random soup. I've pulled kind of everything out of my fridge that I might use. Um, basically it's kind of leftovers of everything um, to be able to make a lovely veggie soup. So um, let's see I've just got some garlic here, some vegetable bouillon, um, some sesame oil which is what I think makes any soup taste that much better. Um, kind of the remainder of some ragu sauce. I have kind of leftover pasta here, some carrots, celery, um, green peas, corn, chickpeas, and basically it's all going to go together in from this kind of chaos into my wonderful and trusty crock pot, um, which honestly was the best wedding present that I ever got, um, and make it into a wonderful soup. So I've turned the slow cooker on. It's on there. Um, and I always spray it with some form of cooking spray. This just happens to be butter flavored, great value, Walmart brand. Because um, it does make it easier to clean up afterwards, even though my crock pot actually fits in my dishwasher. Um, and then I've poured some of this sesame seed oil um, in there. I just kind of eyeballed it. Probably a generous tablespoon or maybe even as much as two tablespoons. Um, and now I'm just going to put some minced garlic in. Let's see if I can do this with just one hand. There we go. So I'm just going to scrape that off, but clearly I need my other hand to be able to do that. So I've cut up some celery and carrots, and these are just baby carrots actually, because that's all that I had in the fridge. Um, you can use regular sized carrots as well. Some people may put onions in. Um, I'm just going to see if I can get them all in there. There we go. Um, Sorry, what I was saying is you can use onions as well, but I'm not a big fan of onions, so um, I usually use celery instead of onions, but I've already put the corn in, some celery, and some carrots, and now I'm going to throw in some green peas, um, and I'm using frozen corn and frozen green peas, again, because basically that's what I have. We go so I threw the green peas in and I'm fine with if there's any kind of ice in with the frozen green peas because it's all just going to dissolve into the liquid for the soup itself so I've also dissolved um, two cups of boiling water with some veggie bouillon here's what I'm using today um, and basically you just throw it on top of everything like that um, and then I'm going to throw in some of the leftover ragu that I have. This is tomato and basil in there. There we go, the ragu's in there. And then I'm just going to throw in some chickpeas as well. Um, the great thing that I love about doing veggie soup is you really don't have to measure anything. You just kind of throw it all in. Um, and then I'm going to put in some basil and a little bit of rosemary as well as some salt and pepper. Okay, so I've got some of the or herbs and seasonings in there. Um, I may actually throw some rice in here too, um, but I also have some um, already made um, pasta, which I'm going to throw in kind of I'd say about an hour before I'm going to serve this um, because it's already cooked. I don't need to actually, you know, cook it in here. So it's kind of just warming it up and taking some of the flavors along with it. Um, and at about that time, I'll see how much liquid is left. 
Um, although I have a really big um, crock pot here, my kids won't eat soup. So this is really just, I'm making it for me. And what's fantastic is this soup actually also freezes really well. So that's always really helpful that, you know, instead of getting sick of it, I can actually freeze some or just put it away and bring it out a week later or two weeks later or even a month later. It doesn't matter. So, but this is what I love about this, um, I can't really call it a recipe because it's whatever basically is in my fridge, but it's what I love about this type of vegetable soup. Okay, for my slow cooker, when it starts to bubble around the edges like that, that's when I know that everything is finished. So let's take a look. I have to actually use the um, oven mitt because the handle is always so warm. But this is what the um, soup looks like when it's done. Um, I'll probably put some more liquid in. Um, just to make it more soup-like, but there you go. This is what my vegetable soup looks like when it's all done. Here is my soup. I just cut up a couple um, sun-dried tomatoes and sprinkled on some Parmesan cheese, and now this is what I'm going to have for dinner. Bon appétit!